Thanks so much for tuning in on this powerful week just prior to Easter. And we think about Jesus' passion mm -hmm. and all that he went through. And uh, so we're going to just talk a little bit about that and just mention a, a few nuggets about what transpired in his passion. Yeah, of course, on Palm Sunday, we have that prophecy from Zechariah 9.9 that talks exactly about Jesus entering into Jerusalem, Jerusalem for the Passover. And uh, we see it says... He rode right on a donkey, right on a donkey's court. The king, mm -hmm. righteous and victorious. And so, wow, Jesus was that Passover lamb. And, and tell me a little bit about the, the analogy that you said uh, mm -hmm. that took place at 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so if we fast forward all the way till Friday, Good Friday, at 9 a.m. in the morning, we see that the lambs during Passover were prepared for their, the sacrifice for the atonement of sin. And it actually talks about how they bruised the heel of the lamb in preparation for a sacrifice. Just like Jesus bruised his heel, mm -hmm. lifting, himself, lifting himself up on the cross to get air. So he pushed off the, the, the nails in his feet. So his heel was also bruised. Mm -hmm. So the correlation, the symbolism is, is very strong. And so we see... That at 9 a.m. they prepared the sacrifice, and then same with the lamb, same with Jesus. Jesus was actually, I think it says that Pilate committed him to, to death at, at 9 a.m. on Friday morning. And then at 3, Friday, Good Friday, is whenever they actually uh, committed the sacrifice to the lamb. Same time that Jesus passed. It's amazing because 1 Corinthians 5, 7 says, He is our Passover. So all that took place in Exodus chapter 12 with the lamb that they sacrificed and put the blood on the doorposts and on the lentils of the house mm -hmm. to protect them from the death angel passing over was all pointed to Jesus. He is the ultimate sacrifice. Yeah. And so it was a type and a shadow of Jesus, our Passover lamb. It really was. Even the, the hyssop branch that they used to put the blood on the door, the three parts of the doorpost, uh, it had water inside, and so when they put that blood with the hyssop, it actually sealed the blood on the door frame with the water and the blood. Same with, same with Jesus. The blood represents our, our sins being forgiven, taking away our sins, and then the water represents the Holy Spirit coming into our lives. So it's really cool how, just like Jesus, when they, instead of breaking his legs, like they did with most people on the cross, they knew he was pretty much already gone so they just pierced his side and out came water and blood sealing our atonement and also bringing us the holy spirit mm. so the holy spirit is the water yep and his blood was shed to remit our sins which is pretty interesting because in the old testament it just covered our sins mm -hmm. but in the new testament we have the remission of sins remission simply means that he not only took the penalty of your sin but he also took away the guilt. And in the Old Testament, there was a remembrance of sins, but in the New Testament, see, what Jesus did for us in his new and better covenant mm -hmm. made it so that we wouldn't even remember our sins. Yep. So we don't have to have a sin consciousness, see. He's exonerated us. He's expunged our record, just like in the police, yeah. in a courtroom. You know, they said, we're going to expunge your record. And you're totally free. So Dad, tell us some more about what the Passover represents, the symbolisms. I know you spoke about it yesterday mm -hmm. at church. Yeah, I see three things that uh, God is trying to bring his people into remembrance about. You know, there's a scripture, I believe it's 1 Peter 3, 1, that says, Stir up your pure mind by way of remembrance. Mm -hmm. And so God wants us to remember Passover, remember what he did. Three things I see in that. He wanted us to remember that he's a miracle-working God. It was a wonderful miracle mm. that he did in order to cause the death angel to pass over the children of Israel. They did not die from that tenth plague, or any of the nine plagues bothered them at all either. Mm -hmm. But he was saying, I'm a miracle-working God. He's still doing miracles today. The second thing is he wants us to see the power of the blood applied. Mm. Now, that was just animal blood applied to those doorposts. 
and it, and it caused the death angel to pass over. But I want you to know today the blood of Jesus applied to your life will bring protection, healing, deliverance from demonic spirits, oppression, despondency, Amen. fear, everything. And then thirdly, we see, so first of all, miracles. The second thing, the blood applied. And then thirdly, what we mentioned before is that Jesus is our Passover. Passover is all about Jesus. And so no longer do they have to sacrifice a lamb. Uh, uh, you know, maybe they brought this lamb up in the, in the home. The children raised it and they bring it for sacrifice to this Jewish celebration. But no longer do they do that because Jesus is the final sacrifice. Right. We don't need another sacrifice. Yeah, after that time that Jesus correlated with the same Passover events, and he, and he also was a sacrifice for our sins. He was the final That's right. lamb. Yes. No need to, no need to sacrifice uh, lambs anymore because Jesus is the final That's right. lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Takes away. That's good, yeah. In fact, even in Isaiah 53, I think along about verse 7, it says that concerning his crucifixion that he was as a lamb or a, a, a brought to slaughter yeah. and he was dumb. In other words, he was silent, just as a sheep, rather, is brought mm -hmm. before the... The shearers, he was dumb or silent. And so he every every place you look, he is the lamb that takes away the sins of the world. I like that prophecy about not one bone would be broken. And that's the same thing mm -hmm. with, with the lambs. They were they did not break the, the lamb's uh, bones. That's exactly right. Yeah. Well, you know, too, it's interesting because we're battling this coronavirus, and there's a there's a prophet who his name is Terry, uh, Stacy Cook, I believe it is, who says that this thing is going to be, this coronavirus is going to be rendered harmless as of the end of Passover, which is April 16 and 17, right in that area. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he knows what he's talking about, but I'm going to believe because the Bible says, believe ye his prophets and so shall you prosper. Uh, so we'll find out, won't we? But that'd be great because the blood applied in the Old Testament made a difference, protected them. And the blood applied to our lives will protect you and keep you. And we're believing that that's going to be the end of the coronavirus, April 16th and yeah, 17th. They're saying this week is the peak for the virus to, to have its you know, infection in, in the U.S. That's right. So I don't think it's a coincidence that it's going to pass over, that peak's going to pass over us, and we're going to see a the, the decline. That's right, exactly. Amen. Well, now we've got some things coming up on Friday. Mm -hmm. Tell them what, what we're going to do Friday evening. Yeah, so tomorrow evening uh, we're going to do communion online. So we want you to get your elements together, your 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 uh, grape juice and your bread. Gra gather the family. Me, Pastor Gail, Pastor Pastor Cliff, we're going to all lead you in communion and just do some remembrance of what He has done. Jesus has done for us on mm -hmm. the cross. How He how He took our sickness mm -hmm. and how He took our sin. So that we can live free and in complete unity and, and, and harmony with, with God now. Amen. Made right with God. Amen. And if you don't have any grape juice, <laughs> you can use apple juice or whatever you want. And yeah. just a hunk of bread is all you need. Yeah. And then uh, on Sunday, we're going to do something unique too, Matt. Tell them what's going to happen here. Yeah, so as of, as of right now, we got the transmitter in the mail today, and it's working great. So we just want to invite you to come on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock for our drive-in Easter service. We're going, to, we're going to do praise and worship. We're going to uh, have you stay in your cars, tune in to 88.3, and just join us as we sing and celebrate, and get out of the house. <laughs> 88.3 FM, FM on their FM. car radio. Yep. And we're not going to have a long service. It'll be over within an hour, perhaps 55 minutes. Mm -hmm. We don't want you to run your batteries down. But anyhow, mm -hmm. we want you to keep the windows closed, no contact with one another, and uh, we're just going to have a great time. So help us to abide by these uh, guidelines and recommendations of our public health department. By the way, we are permitted to meet. Uh, we have a document that says we're permitted to do that because, do you know it says that we're a life-sustaining business? Oh yeah, wow. Essential business. So yeah, There's a lot more calls <clears throat> into uh, mental health services right now because people are stuck in their homes and they're worried. So we just wanna end with a prayer. Can I just add to that? You know, yeah. he mentioned that. Uh, the state of Indiana has normally 1,000 calls to their mental health department per day. 
They've gone up now to 25,000 calls per day. And what this is resulting in, people are searching and they're, they're looking for an answer. And Jesus is that answer. Mm -hmm. So maybe today you're in the same boat and you're frustrated, anxiety ridden, mm -hmm. stressed out. I don't know what's going to happen. What's going on? I don't know what's going to happen. And you're full of fear. Listen, look to the Lord. Jesus, he loves you and he's got a wonderful plan for your life. He will set you free from that fear and give you that protection that comes through his blood. I wonder if we could just pray a prayer for salvation right now, Matt. In case there's anybody that's searching for God, would you do that for us? Yeah, first of all, let's just pray for those that maybe know someone or someone is out there listening who's battling any viruses. That's right. So, God, we just speak healing. Yes, thank you. To every person battling thank any you. viruses, colds, yes. flus, any, any, any symptoms trying to come on our bodies, any that's colds. Right. We rebuke fear. That's right. We rebuke sickness. We command it to go now in Jesus', Jesus name. name. We just agree with those out there that are, that are listening right yes. now. And we also just pray for the salvation of anyone That's right. who is, a, is, a, is far from you, Lord. And we yes. just thank you that as they say, Lord, yes. be Lord of my life. I repent. Yes. I come to you. I believe. And I turn to you now. Be Lord of my life. Yes. You will be saved. In yes. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. So if you prayed that prayer and meant it in your heart, the Bible says that when you believe in your heart and you confess it with your mouth, you've met the qualifications. Mm -hmm. If you were sincere about believing in your heart and confessing it with your mouth, you now have a passport to paradise, mm -hmm. a citizenship in heaven. Believe it by faith, according to Romans 10, verses 9 and 10. If you're a new creation in Christ, Old things have passed away. You've got a whole new future, and he's made you the righteousness of God in him. One more thing is on Sunday at 12 o'clock, if you have a, a radio, tune in to WBVP. Yes, that's right. We're, we're going to have a special half an hour segment of our um, Easter service on there this Sunday. All right. Great. And then, so don't confuse those two now. He mentioned 88.3 FM on your radio, on your car radio. Up here at the church. <laughs> up here at the church. And then 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock on WBVP, 1230 on your radio dial. AM. AM. That's the AM. So you've got PM, FM. excuse me, FM and AM. So uh, don't confuse those two. That's, the AM is going to be at 12. Uh, all right. Great. All right. Thank you.